it's still a very limited uh, number of, of artists or, or, or writers that, that are um, recognized in, all, in, all, in every field of, of creativity. Probably the real inventors are like marginally known. The real people that did all the groundbreaking work are usually not the ones that get the fame and the recognition. You, you have the obligation to stay humble because the people that really did the groundbreaking work, they will probably not get the attention which they deserve. Just tagging is such a nice thing to do, the, the physic, physical action of, of writing your name on a surface. I think it's actually nicer with a, mar with a good marker than even with a, with a spray can. Just leaving your mark anywhere is, is, feels nice for some reason. And very different to piecing. Piecing is, for me, is something completely different, although it's part of the same set of tools you have as a, as a, as a writer. But what's really nice about piecing is the sheer um, speed that you can cover surfaces and, and do a painting. Um, unless you're like spending two days in, in, in a Hall of Fame, which is completely fine is that if that's your thing. I prefer spending 30 minutes on a big, quick piece with fat caps and then nice outlines. You don't need a lot of talent either. I think the, the, the most interesting pieces are the ones that are um, done by people that just start writing, you know, when they still is this naive. There's a lot of writers that really follow the conformist kind of approach, but I find that, find that less interesting. I'm really proud of this. So this is a reproduction of my, uh, of, of, of two black books I had. I kept in uh, from 86 to 97. I just I started it started like a you know like a more black book black book that I uh, uh, would bring with me and I, people would sign and take a look at. But after a while, it became more like a like more like a journal with like sketches and the piece that I did. Since I was making the book, I've been looking through it so many times, maybe some of the memories have actually been overwritten, which in a way is a shame, but it's okay. Some of the pieces um, I'm really happy with looking back. For instance, this one, it's the Fondel Park and it's M-E-S-S, -S, mess, and it's sort of a Western, uh, like a cowboy. Uh. Yeah, so this is one of, the, one of the first one, and we just did it straight on the Van Gogh Museum, like okay. early in the morning. Yes, this is Sydney, really nice, good times there. This is, uh, w w like I just, this is Santo's apartment in the Bronx. Um, and yeah, it's somewhere up to, and this is next to the, you probably took this train, train. But, and, I, and for a long time I really got away, of, I, I got away from it, I wanted to, be considered an, uh, a regular artist instead of a uh, graffiti artist? Well, there used to be a sort of a stigma with a graffiti artist artist, and uh, it was taken less serious. I, f I felt that it was taken less serious. I think nowadays it doesn't really matter anymore. When I was 14, I suddenly noticed how Amsterdam was completely covered up with, with names everywhere these would be just scribbles and, and more punk and ska oriented. It just bit me. I really like the, the game of getting up, getting fame without just by yourself. You know, you can, you can create an alias. I was definitely not interested in any arts. It's mainly because of graffiti that, that I am now. And I need to do something with this blue because it's not covering at all. I started called a, a plaything, APT. Really like coming up with little, like items, okay. brick wheel. It, is, it even bounces a little bit. These are actually built out of letters, so there's the D, the E, the L, 
the T and the A. Yeah, of course. So delta, and that's R, A, D, A, R, radar. Mm. I mean, that's awesome. This is supposed to, it, well, it was, this has some, um, speaking of artwork, like nice, Just some drawings and prints, some, some um, playing cards are designed. Yeah, yeah. The uh, thing is a special item which is in my possession. And now, yes, here you go. It's a nice, uh, this is the book itself is a, I think it's a, a collector's item. Mm -hmm. why, why this book is special is from 85. 84 and it's about graffiti which there aren't any hardly any publications on graffiti at that time this double page which I always really loved about the evolution of style by phase two and he actually did one he added one in blue pen next to it yeah he spent some time in Amsterdam in 91 oh, amazing. I, even, I did some pieces with him so he, I think he did a delta here the face was, you know, he was so advanced. He um, he had such a personal uh, style. But I was later on. I was very much inspired by the flyers he did for the early hip hop. Uh, there's some of these in here. Uh, graduated from university. I actually started to do graphic design which I wasn't I wasn't a graphic designer but mm -hmm. this stuff here these kind of flyers like the early hip hop flyers yeah there you go this stuff mm -hmm. so everything I do is um, based upon me being a writer I would never thought that this would be my line of work when I started writing I remember me and friends would be talking how we could easily be writing graffiti until the age of 18 because at the age of 18 we would be considered uh, adults and we would get punished harder <laughs> still being involved in uh, 40 years <laughs> 40 years later right, yeah, yeah. this is yeah crazy